Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the mission inspiration, uh, an oldie, oldie really, from November 2015. Before Mike Deegan started the Facebook group, uh, well, before it became official, sort of speak, he did a few missions in November and December of 2015. And, well, I love playing along with these challenges, so I decided to do these oldies as well. So, there were two missions in November and two in December, and this is, I believe, the very first one, which is from 11 November 2015. And the challenge was set by Peter Thompson. And the first step is add a layer of gesso and stamp into it. I used a heavy gesso from Art Basics uh, to cover my spread and a circle kind of floral stamp. Uh, it had no brand name on it to stamp into the wet gesso. And that worked quite well because it left a very nice texture onto the page. And then step two said, apply paint using bubble wrap. Now I mixed in a black acrylic paint from Van Eyck and a white acrylic paint from Art Talent to um, get a grayish uh, color tone. And I applied that to the bubble wrap and stamped it onto my page. And I did the same with a very light green color from Art Talent and uh, also added with a bubble wrap. But that didn't show all that much because it was a quite light color, but it was there. And then step three, three says add two pieces of ephemera. And I found this uh, image in the children's book of uh, Paulus de Boskabouter. And I torn it in two and then adding one part to the right side and one part to the left side of my uh, art journal. And I used a mud patch to glue it down. So just the other day I was watching a video by Linda Thompson. Uh, she also does the mission inspirations and um, she did a kind of a final a mission. Uh, she took all 12 missions uh, and took a step from each one of them, or at least she took 10 steps of all those missions that were up during 2016 and she created a kind of a final uh, mission inspiration and it turned out beautifully and I thought well that's a fun idea to do so well I'm going to do that as well, only I am taking all, uh, well, she took all 12 missions as well, but I'm going to do this one with 12 steps. So I'm taking step one from January, step two from February, step three from March, four from April, five June, and so on and so on. So this will also be a sort of a final mission, uh, but then uh, will it have 12 steps instead of 10 as a kind of a celebration of this year of mission inspirations so um, step 4 said turn your journal upside down and I did and step 5 said add paint strips and I used the black acrylic paint again from Van Eyck watered it down and uh, added to the edge of the page and also sprayed with water to make it drip uh, down the page and I did the same thing with this green color from our talent also this is um, a, a bit darker green a bit more lime green than the one I used for the bubble wrap and I'm also using the acrylic a spray paint uh, for some splatters on the page. So turning my page back in the right position, 
uh, we go to step six, which says draw random shapes on your page. I'm using different pens and markers. Um, that is a black and a white Posca marker. Also, I use a Pigma Micron pen and I took out the white Signo Uniball, but I won't use that pen. And I'm adding some more white little circles that could be splatters and um, drawing some branches on the trees because I cut the page in the middle. So I am uh, finishing the trees uh, where they were cut off. What I also did was adding some paint to the trees to draw to make some leaves. I use some acrylic paints for that mixing in uh, to get a right color. And now I am using the Posca white marker again for step seven that it says doodle around the edges of your page. Now I'm not much of a doodler, so I'm not good with drawing. So I try to draw some leaves in the corners of the page but not much because I don't really like uh, like it. And uh, well, if you like to join in with the Facebook group of Mike Deacon and the Mission Inspirations, I will leave you, of course, a link to the Facebook group so you can check out for yourself, uh, see what's happening and how others have done these missions you can post your pages there, you can post your videos there, and you can chit chat with others about these missions. Great fun! Uh, step 8 is tint a medium and apply through a stencil. So I added some black to uh, a crackle paste, and I'm using two stencils. Uh, Again, they had no brand name on it, and this one is very thin. This is a, a texture of a tree, but it's. F I need to be very careful with adding the texture paste to it because it was very thin. And also here I am adding some leaves. And the crackle paste, well, I guess I didn't use as much as I should because it, it did show a bit, but it was very little crackling I got there. So I added uh, on the left and right side of the page there where the tree is to add the texture and nothing more. And then step nine says add book text to your page. So I used a little pocket book, a dictionary, a puzzle dictionary, and I, uh, used a few bits and pieces that said boss which is a forest which means forest so boss is dutch for forest and i used tak which is dutch for branch and i used uh, blood which is Dutch for leaf. So that's a free lesson in Dutch for you. And I'm gluing those bits and pieces down with a Mod Podge. Just in a few places because I'm very happy this page didn't all got too busy. Um, it didn't, this mission didn't ask for a focal point and I was very happy with it. And so I also didn't use a quote on this page. I thought um, it, was, it wasn't necessary, really. And step 10 said, add circles of scratch paper. And I always have a piece of paper lying around that I use to uh, wipe off the leftover paint and cleaning my stamps and brushes 
and luckily I bought some uh, punches uh, last week so I didn't have to cut out any circles and I uh, used a very small punch more like a confetti size circle and a, a larger one and I'm gluing that down with a Mod Podge which was a bit fiddly because it stuck to my fingers and to the brush and And now I am going to outline them with the Posca white marker. And then my page is about ready. Uh, of course, I will ink the edges uh, with a Stazon Yet Black ink pad, but then my page is done. So there's one more to go for November 2015 and two more to go for, two, for December 2015. So uh, yeah, I will I will do them and hopefully I will do the final mission inspiration somewhere uh, next week, I hope. So thanks again for joining me, guys. I uh, hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.